Okay guys, Derek Okahashi with Moving to Hawaii, Moving to Oahu, back with another video. We're gonna show you guys Pearl City and part of Aiea today. You can see behind me, Pearl City transitioning from Waiau, Waimalu, which are technically Aiea. And then we're gonna save some of Aiea for our next video, which we're gonna do Aiea alone in its entirety. Stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna show you a couple of people throughout the video. One's a good friend who we just happened to come across and he was doing some very Hawaii kind of things. And uh, another person who's very important to me in my business. I'm also going to show you a place to eat that I guarantee you uh, nobody else is going to show you and give you some pro tips and tricks as we always do. Here's the other thing. My dad, he found these videos somehow. My dad's loving. I love you, dad. You know, you're my reason for working hard and providing for my family and everything. But uh, my dad's critical too. And so he said, hey, you're too tense on camera. And I was like, how did you even find these videos? You know, you gotta relax, you gotta act like you're just talking and da da da. So let me know, you know, when we're doing the intro and outro, you know, I get really smiley and all that stuff. But comment below, am I being too tense? Uh, is my dad right? You can see from, from Eva to Makakilo, this whole mountain range to the North Shore. Over there is Mount Ka'ala where those clouds are. That's the highest point on Oahu. Uh, the beautiful valley here, this is Newtown Valley. This is just a normal photo op in Hawaii. We haven't even showed you guys the windward side, the Ko'olau Mountains, the North Shore, uh, off of Hawaii Kai, in town by Waikiki, gotten those drone shots. So we're gonna be doing all those things, but let us know, like, where are you trying to move to? Which neighborhood are you thinking about living in when you come to Hawaii? We wanna focus on those neighborhoods. We wanna answer your questions. We wanna show you the neighborhoods and the areas and the nuances of the island that you're interested in. So let us know in the comments, reach out, uh, text me, call me, connect with me on social media. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten reach outs in the last couple of weeks. We want to have five plus reach outs a day so that we can help more people move to Hawaii. And you know, to be quite honest, we want to help some of you buy. And so we hope that we have the honor and the privilege to serve you and partner with you in your home buying process. The information from these videos will help get us there. So make sure you reach out. Okay, so we're right at the beginning of Pearl City right now. This is a uh, Pearl Highland shopping center. There's all kinds of all kinds of restaurants and stores and stuff there. Ross, a golf shop, Sam's Club, and 24 Hour Fitness is underneath. You can see these towers uh, out the window here. What that represents for me is not only is Pearl City uh, sort of a higher price point because of the traffic, you know, the way the H1 and H2 merge happen and Pro City puts you right after that. In my mind, you're also kind of transitioning from suburbia, starting to get more metro because you see these tall buildings. So in Pro City, there's a few, a uh, couple in Aiea, there's a handful of taller buildings, which we may make it to today. Some people who aren't from here might see them as the same thing. The people who are from Pro City and Aiea definitely see them as different things. The high school rivalry and all that. All of this shopping here is uh, is newer to Hawaii. When we were kids, there was this was just fields or something. I forget what it was. So there's a one of our newer WalMarts on the right. All kinds of places to eat and stuff on the left. Actually, there is a there's a Foodland Farms over there, which is if you watched our last video, our video on Kapolei, we mentioned how Foodland Farms is sort of. Hawaii's local grocers take on uh, competing with Whole Foods and, and places like that. They have a lot more fresh, uh, organic produce and higher quality wines and beers and stuff like that. And they usually have a bar uh, where you can sit down and, and have drinks after work and stuff. So Foodland Farms is a cool spot. And I am in the wrong lane. So I'm gonna see if someone will give me the Hawaii. Yep, thank you. <laughs> There's our token shaka for the for this video. We are going to now turn left on Waimano Home Road. And a couple of things that we can show you as we go up Waimano Home Road. These aren't planned communities in the way that modern planned communities are, but you know, you start getting into all the houses of Pro City. Uh, on the right here is Pro City Highlands Elementary. That's where my wife went to uh, elementary school. It, it, rain, it rains in Mililani and so as you know, my car is always dirty and whatnot. I gotta carry some Windex or some better Rain-X in my car or something so that we can, uh, we can get clear shots. Look at the mountains over there. So this is one thing about Hawaii in general, just Pro City isn't really known for its views, but look at that. 
just all over the place. There's views everywhere. On the left will be Pacific Palisades. Pacific Palisades is like its own little thing. I actually didn't know about Pacific Palisades until I was like 18 years old. I worked at the Home Depot down the street. There was a guy from Palisades and he took me there. I was like, bro, I didn't even know this was here. Did you know about Palisades since you were a kid? Wait, what is Palisades? Like? See, you didn't even yeah, know about I mean, I mean. Okay, we have to take a quick detour. Again, beautiful views. The people PCSing in in the military are typically finding themselves here, you know? So unless you know someone over here, there's not really a reason to go. So I would, I would venture to say that most people on this island have never been to Palisades. Um, the Children's House and Leeward Community Church here on our left. Back there, uh, Dane. Dane lives back there. They bought a house back there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a few townhomes and stuff right there. And there's a, uh, there's a stream in the back where they can like fish and... The homes here were built uh, again, probably 50s, 60s, and 70s for the most part. As I've talked about in other videos, Hawaii really had, um, didn't have a lot of significant development uh, between uh, the 70s to the 90s. And then they started to develop Eva and Kapolei and Makakilo, certain areas. But there wasn't a lot of development from the 70s to the 90s. So these homes are of that uh, former era, yeah. No, that's, that's him. That's not him. That, that, is? Not that is Dane. Hey! Totally unannounced. We just, because we were in this area, we stopped by. Oh, oh Genji. God. And my guy Dane was outside. Up, and Dane and Kenji, how long have you guys not seen each other? Oh, 12th grade. <laughs> that's all dirty. Oh, yeah, yeah. My son's name is Dane, partially named after Dane. And Dane is your, your quintessential Hawaiian. I think he's fixing nets right now for uh, fishing or crabbing or something. What you doing, Hawaiian? Catfish. From the stream over here. So what you do? Eat them. I eat them, but I don't know. I probably might, might use them for fertilizer. Oh. We'll see. See how hard oh, it is. Oh, the chicken oh. bones, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at the, the little eel over here. All kinds. Oh, green onions. Green onions, bro. Fertilized by my dogs. Use these for fertilizing. Yeah. Just bury them. That one just made the, made the cut. Right? Just made it, bro. They're invasive? Yeah, these are the placals that you find in aquariums. Oh, and then the okay, so people threw their fish from the aquarium in there? Yeah, and then the and catfish is from my, um, the guy that lives over there. They threw it in there. It's actually really good eating this catfish. This one, I like the that one, the long skin. Yeah, one. the big one. These oh. guys right there. It's actually really. Good. When we were shooting our couple A video, did your mom? Yeah. Uh, tell you she saw it. That's fucking bites. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know she's. You guys are right across the street, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, auntie. You, I was like, auntie. Oh. All right, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Here she came. Okay, that wraps it up for Dane's holiday. What's up, bro? There's this house here on the left that has the the tent on it. It's being tented for termites. In Hawaii, pests are just a problem. We actually just did a video. Uh, we'll link that in the bio and put that up on the screen on uh, pests in Hawaii. And we had my friend from Pest Tech Hawaii, Ian. He came and talked about pests and roaches and yeah, all that stuff. But if you're buying a house in Hawaii, you'll come to find out that the termite inspection is a standard part of the Hawaii process. You should never buy a house without a termite inspection unless you're a skilled investor. You get termites, it happens, you tent the house and move on and, and fix the problems. Don't let the pests in Hawaii uh, scare you in terms of home ownership or in terms of just having roaches in your house. I can tell you, and I, I say it in our pest control video, when I moved into my last place, the uh, previous people weren't clean and there were the little German roaches. I paid multiple companies to come. I finally solved the problem myself. And after like two weeks, we never saw a roach again. It's taking out the trash religiously, making sure you keep areas dry, clean the floors, all those sorts of things. But yeah, after we got rid of the, the cockroach problem, a couple weeks in, we never saw roaches again. So if you're clean and diligent, you don't have to worry about them too much. There is a trail here. I, I don't know, I've never been here actually. Why 
Waimano. Oh, hunting area. Eva Forest Reserve, Waimano. You've been here before? Yeah, yeah. There's, it's actually kid friendly. So if you look at schooldigger.com, I believe Momi Lani Elementary is rated as the number one elementary school in the state. There are people who, who seek to get exemptions just to get into that school. I've heard that the principal takes a lot of pride in keeping it that way. I don't know the principal. I've never had a child that goes there. Uh, this is third party information, but their rating is what it is. You can see it uh, represented on schooldigger.com. Now we're coming up on Pro City High School, actually. Fun fact, my wife went to Pro City High School. She has a Charger Pride. Okay, so in the last video, we forgot to do something. So I'm gonna give you an extra hard one this time. And it's how to pronounce a Hawaiian word. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds. How do you pronounce this one? That is ho'o ki'e ki'e. Ho'o ki'e ki'e street. So if you can't pronounce ho'o ki'e ki'e, that's okay. Just don't, don't try and say it however Siri says it. She doesn't know what she's talking about. We're coming down uh, Waimano Home Road. When I think of Pro City, I, I think of this area. There's a 7-Eleven down there. There's Home Depot, Pro Highland Shopping Center. Uh, on the left is, it's called Don Quixote now, but it used to be called Dae. And in the Dae Shopping Center, there's Leeward Bowling Alley, Chuck E. Cheese. There's the two-story Zippies down here, which is my favorite Zippies. I mean, they serve the same food at most Zippies, but this Zippies has sushi and stuff. But just the, I don't know, the feel of it, like sitting on the second floor. You know, I mentioned Zippies in like our Mililani video, probably in our Eva Beach video. And uh, people, people have an affinity for Zippies. Probably like East Coast people have for Dunkin' Donuts and West Coast people have for In-N-Out and the South has for Chick-fil-A, you know, all of those things. Zippy's is not a fast food place like that, but it, it is like our diner. On the right here is the bus facility and a police station. There's Manana Park and Pacheco Park on this road. If you're into playing softball and things like that, you will maybe find yourself at these fields. My wife is a big coffee shop person. Like she misses the California coffee shops that we used to have. There's the coffee bean and tea leaf, so a little departure from your normal Starbucks. There aren't a ton of just, you know, small, privately owned, hipster type coffee shops. So I worked at that Pearl City Home Depot, store 1702, and I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did. I lasted like a year and a half. I hated it. Sometimes people are pretty rude too, you know, just yelling at you. Hey, I want my shower. What the hell's wrong with you? No one else is going to make a video about Hawaii, about Pro City, and show you the place I'm about to show you. When we were young uh, adults after high school and before stitching all of it, putting all the pieces together, and you, you know, after a night of clubbing and all of that stuff, there's only so many places that were open to eat. And there would be crowds. I don't even know if they're still open. I think they are. But this place is open from like 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. or something chronic hours, <laughs> overnight hours, graveyard hours. That little yep. hole in the wall was Mickey's. Put it this way, inexpensive, huge plates of food. I don't know if it tasted good because we all late at night and drinking or what, but uh, Mickey's was the spot for people heading back to the leeward side or for people starting their graveyard shift or whatnot late at night. Pro City is kind of two different places on the Makai side of Cam Highway, which is Makai means towards the ocean. The Mauka side of Cam Highway or Kamehameha Highway. On the Mauka side, it's more, you know, suburban and there's homes and schools shopping right at the highway's edge. This is on the Makai side of Cam Highway. Down throughout Pro City, it's more industrial and you will find houses. But, you know, as it is in anywhere, when there's houses mixed with industrial, there tends to be a, a sort of different, you know, vibe to that. And so I wanted to show you guys that as well. We're going underneath the freeway here. So in terms of attractiveness of living, like if you can point right there. So we actually just drove straight down with Mono Home Road, went straight all the way to the Pearl City Peninsula Navy base. Uh, I don't actually know a ton about it. I know that there's Navy housing here. I know that 
I have a client who, whose wife wants a beachfront property. And so we're writing an offer right now, one and a half million. It's getting submitted today because she wants to get out of here. I don't think because the housing is bad or anything, but I think she's just tired of living in housing. There's a little mini mart, NEX, Navy Exchange. You can get gas, uh, which I didn't realize there was a gas station here. So I guess if I ever need gas, I can bust out my military ID. This is a unique place. If you're PCSing, if you're military moving here and you don't end up in AMR, you know, Aliamanu. Say you're stationed at Schofield, but you don't want to live on Schofield. Or you're stationed at Air Station Barber's Point, but you don't want to live on Air Station Barber's Point. Then uh, I wonder if your housing options, your, your unit, your housing office, if this place could be an option for you. We are turning back onto Kamehameha Highway. One thing I should point out is the rail. A lot of controversy involved with this, this rail, monorail, train system. Along Cam Highway, there's just a bunch of like industrial slash shopping. This is the two-story zippies. That's the best zippies in my opinion. Granted, 90% of the food is the same, but it just has a good feel and uh, you can get sushi too. You're, you like that zip? What's your favorite zippies? It's the closest one. The closest one? <laughs> <laughs> if you go into all these side streets, again, there's Cam Highway and there's uh, Moanalua Road that are the two roads. Moanalu is more Mauka. Cam Highway is more Makai next to the freeway or kind of intersects the freeway. So Pro City and, and Ayer are pretty much those two roads. And the more Mauka you go, the more expensive homes tend to get. The more Makai you go, the more industrial it tends to get. I mean, right here we got a, a gentleman's club to put it kindly there's a, a power plant here on the right so look we we drove a mile there's another zippies just to give you an idea of well two things how densely populated pro city kind of is that you can warrant two zippies a mile away from each other if that but also how you know Hawaii people like zippies we're transitioning out of pro city this is technically technically called waimalu Ugh. i have a hard time saying l's because of my braces when i was a kid i got my cabinets uh my sink I think I got my countertops here, but anyways, I sent all of my clients here to my Kai cabinets and stone. If you're going to buy an older house that needs some updating or you know something like that, this is the place to go. Really good prices, quality is on point, and uh, my guy Scott will take super good care of you. Actually, he's right in there. Scott! So that's Scott. If you guys need cabinets, counters, uh, any anything this is the this is the spot I'm gonna send you guys to I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip make sure you look at your flooring and different uh, lightings because we were going to get this flooring the 8009 and I can see just on this camera it looks different than it looks to me in person uh, when you put it in the sunlight it looks different and when you put it under a lot of fluorescent light it even looks different so my wife and I ended up going with this one. And even that one, it looks a lot more brown on the wall than it does on our floor. So anyways, just wanted to show you my cut cabinets and stone really quick. You got to meet my guy, Scott. He takes really good care of my clients. So I did it. Hey, you did a uh, Rory and Casey, yeah? And yeah, Knob Hill. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they came by and uh, they had me come by and check it out. The place looks good, man. If you guys are going to get ceiling fans, this is the place to get it. It's the best ceiling fans on the island. And this is Rich. What's up? Inventory day. I hated inventory days. Nah, this is shipment day. Oh, shipment day. Still, that, those are the days I was sick. Right on. Good to see you. Yeah, good. Take care, man. How are we going? Back in the shopping center, other than the fact that I have a friend, is... Uh, there's gymnastics, which is right next to Pacific Ceiling Fans. There's other, there's like a kid's haircut place. There's multiple law offices, a couple of golf shops, arts and crafts. So the hobby shop is over there. Karate, there's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a big bike shop. So just a cool industrial plaza with all kinds of things. So next we're gonna run, we're gonna go past the uh, Waimalu Shopping Center. This place is special to me because uh, early in the morning after surfing, uh, Dawn Patrol, my dad or 
maybe just on random days, we would go get food over here. In addition to that, my wife and everyone still loves eating there. Probably every time I talk to my dad, he's always like, hey man, what are you doing? You should go get food. I'm like, dad, I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> he's like, you should go get you a plate because he's on the mainland and he can't get this kind of food. So you have Kapirani coffee shop, famous oxtail soup, Palama supermarket, uh, Cajun King, which is your Louisiana crawfish, put the paper on the table type of place. Shiro, Simon Heaven. So Simon is kind of like, saying it's the Hawaii version of pho doesn't really do it justice. Or it's, it's a different thing, but it's, a, it's ramen, you know, it's, a, it's noodles and soup. It's its own, it's Hawaii's like noodle soup. Uh, Jackie's Diner, which is Hawaiian, Puerto Rican type food. And here is the spot for me. Uh, Kabuki Okazuya. The Konsushi is the best on the island. And if you think differently, you're wrong. Baldwin Sweet Shop. This is where you get Hawaii candy. Stuff that you're gonna send back to your family on the mainland, it, Baldwin's is where to get it. Upstairs, a good friend of mine operates that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu place. I said earlier that there's three zippies. There's actually four. I forgot about the Waimalu zippies. And then there's the Pro Ridge zippies. There's Pro City, more more west or we would say eva because eva is a reference to the west and then there's aia which is more diamond head or a reference going east mostly you can summarize it into pro city and and aia but in between there's waiao and waimalu in terms of the address though there's a there is a an aia zip code and there's a pro city zip code so check out the rail so what do you guys think do you think that hawaii should have a monorail system a train system to take you from the west side suburban area into town. It's a hot issue here in Hawaii. And a lot of local people talk about how uh, they feel there was corruption or it wasn't managed well and they've spent millions and millions and millions of dollars above budget and mismanaged funds. They also say that it looks ugly and it's not Hawaii, you know, it's not the Hawaii charm that, you know, we should have and so I don't discount all of those things, actually. Uh, on the same note, I did live in a busy mainland city. I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I see the value in having a train system. But for me, I don't want to add the train system so that you can even stuff the island even more with, with hundreds of thousands of people. But if you were going to stay at a similar population and slow pace of growth and augment uh, transportation, with the rail, then I think it's a good idea in theory. You know, it helps to protect the land. It's more energy efficient, but there's no doubt that it is an eyesore. And I can see how uh, our, our kupuna, our elders, our aunties and uncles uh, aren't a big fan of it. What do you guys think? Should there be a train on Oahu? Would you want to have a train if you moved here and have a, a way to commute via, via train and bus? Because you're going to have to supplement it with bus. All right, guys, so we stopped here at Best Buy in uh, IAL. I just wanted to point that out because if you're moving here, you're buying your house, you want to get appliances, I have some contacts at the different Best Buys. We can get you a little bit of a discount depending on what sales are going on. Delivery is free at Best Buy. Hawaii is just a logistical issue, you know. So we'll make sure your appliances are actually in stock, which I experienced problems with that. And uh, my girl Nikki, logistics manager at the warehouse, will make sure, make sure that your delivery date is on point. That's one thing I want to point out. Then the other thing is that there's this bike path here. So like my son's friend, his dad rides, rides on the whole island, even where there's no road. He's, he's, he's like a high level extreme biker, in my opinion. To him, it's probably normal. But if you're going to commute via bicycle from the leeward side or anywhere central to town, this bike path is the traditional way to do it. Now, what he told me recently, he said, I commute too early in the morning and the bike path is too dangerous. The population of people that live in tents all up and down this bike path, the stolen cars. He said he just doesn't feel safe anymore. He's a high ranking military person, but doesn't feel safe on this bike path. So just something to know and keep in mind if you're planning to commute via bicycle, you might find yourself on Cam Highway negotiating all the traffic lights and stuff versus utilizing one of like Hawaii's one bike path that we actually have. It's not the most bike friendly place 
if you're comparing it to San Francisco and Oregon or Portland, Seattle, those places, biking is more, bicycling is more part of the culture here, not so much. So Pro City is pretty basic. We kind of showed you what Pro City is all about. So we can't help but to spill over into IEA. We're going to make a separate IEA video later, probably with my niece, who's diehard IEA. I would say that Pearl Ridge is the locals mall, but maybe that's because I'm from the, the leeward side of the island. This is Pearl Ridge Mall. It's divided into uptown and downtown. I don't know which side is uptown and downtown. So what I say and what I think a lot of people say, and we'll see if you agree is, HIC side or town and country side because those are the two surf shops. Uh, most people know what you're talking about or maybe people say on the Macy side because there's Macy's over there. On the right is a is Pearl Kai Shopping Center. There's a big gym back there. There's restaurants. All right guys, so we brought you over here to show you Pearl Ridge in general. There's only so much in Pearl City so I guess this is going to be a Pearl City slash IAF video and then we'll probably come back and do just an IAF video later. This is the Pearl Ridge Office Center. We're going to show you my loan officer and where their office is. Across is, I don't know if that's downtown or uptown Pro Ridge, but uh, that's where Hawaiian Island Creations is. That place, Uncle's Fish Market. I'm not a big fish eater, but their burger. Their burger is like the best burger maybe I've ever had. There's also a Korean barbecue place and Long's Drugs again. That's another trend. Zippies and Long's Drugs is a trend in these videos. So Long's Drugs on the bottom and then Kind of hard to see, but over that way, there's a pro, um, Polymomi Medical Center. That's where my dad met his uh, wife, my stepmom. Uh, that's where our family received care for years. And that's where I'd want to be cared for personally. I use Pacific Rim Mortgage as a primary lender for uh, almost all of my clients, my buyer clients. I get accepted a lot of the times because I have Jody on my side or in part because I have Jody on my side, because we're a team. Uh, if we have the honor to serve you, help you find a house here, and you're buying a home, we're probably going to introduce you to Jody first. In fact, we are going to introduce you to Jody first. Uh, no one beats her rates. I've seen people meet her rates at times. I do have other loan officers that we'll close deals with from time to time, but Jody's, Jody's, uh, she's a beast. Jody's solid. So I'll see if she's here. She say hi. 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 Best in every year since ever. There's something about like, you're in some society where you're like top three in the society. An award that I won for being a leading woman in the industry. So a leading woman in the industry is just a leading human in the industry. And Jody's who uh, we use for just about everything, unless a client uh, happens to have a lender already. No one beats Jody's rates, no one beats their service. So this is where we go for everything. And no one has cuter babies. And no one has <laughs> cuter babies. And what I can say too is, I don't think anyone has more crystals. No one has more crystals. No one has more crystals. What I was saying about this area, this, this street here, Koa Uka Loop, there's like five high rises, a bunch of other condo areas. And this really like represents how you're transitioning from like suburban, leeward, west side to metro. Uh, I, I kind of, I never really thought about it until this video, but Aea and then Salt Lake Moanalua, then you get into like Mapunapuna and Kalihi. This is really where like the metro area starts, I guess, which is signified by these high rise buildings here. That thing there is called a poi pounder. Uh, that it's a, it's an art piece for the thing that they pound taro with to form it into this food we call poi. It's like a taro pudding sort of thing. Um, right where we passed there on the third floor is uh, where my grandma passed. I actually never met her, but that's where my dad met uh, stepmom, Joyce. Love you. I know you're probably going to see this now that my dad watches my video. He met her and I moved back to, or I moved to Hawaii. I started visiting and then I moved to Hawaii. And uh, that's a short story of how I went from Florida boy to Hawaii boy as a kid. California Pizza Kitchen. That was like the CPK, yeah? All these yeah, other ones. That's, that was the first that's one. That's the I CPK, think. yeah. Here, we're, so right now we're in between the two phases of Pro Ridge. If you're that bargain shopper who likes TJ Maxx and Ross, like you got both of them right here, along with all kinds of other cool places in Pro Ridge. Are you old enough to remember Circuit City? Leave a comment below and let me know if 
you've ever been inside of a Circuit City. So where Bed Bath & Beyond is now, that used to be the Circuit City. And you can see how the building shaped, it used to be like shaped like a plug. So it was like, it was the Best Buy, right? Before Best Buy dominated them. But that's not why I brought you here. I didn't bring you here to see Circuit City. I brought you here to check out Tamura's Fine Wines. Tamura's Fine Wines is where you'll get, you know, a good selection of craft beer, good wine, poke, other little snacks, cigars, Anna Miller's and Bravo's. So Anna Miller's famous for their pancake and pies. Bravo's known for their garlic rolls. It's a local like Hawaii Italian restaurant. I want to give a, a special shout out to Evie. So we were buying curtains at that Bed Bath & Beyond. She stayed late. She she coached me on the the curtain rods and the it's I didn't realize it was such a difficult thing to navigate. We spent a thousand dollars on window coverings and she really hooked it up. And I know they're not commission based or anything like that. So really, it was just you know that aloha that she, she was just she was solid. So thank you, Evie. So now we're going up Kaonohi. I'm going to turn left on Moanalua Road. And this used to be a, uh, a swap meet, or it used, uh, it used to be a drive-in theater, and then it became a swap meet or a flea market. And now it's just a place where they store like cars after they get off the ship, before they go to Toyota or whatever. Pro Ridge Elementary is there. Uh, another high rise here. Most local people, I would say most local people, yeah, their favorite ice cream place is a local Hawaii ice cream place. And that is Dave's ice cream. Normally, I would I would show you guys Dave's uh, today. It's a little early for ice cream, and I'm I'm trying to lose weight. So let me know in the comments, like Derek, you're not losing any weight. I've been watching for 20 weeks. Call me out. I like it. I need it. All right, thank you for making it to the end. Another video on moving to Oahu, moving to Hawaii with Derek Okahashi. So let me know, was I too tense? Was my dad right? But also let us know what neighborhoods you wanna see next. Let us know what about moving to Hawaii, moving to Oahu, or even moving to Maui or Kauai or Big Island that you wanna know, and we're gonna answer those questions and make more videos for you guys. Comment, give us that feedback, show us that you're paying attention out there, connect with us. I've had a lot of people DM me on social media or text me directly. Our phone number, our website's down below. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys again for another